the flimsy structures in much of southwestern Iran were no match for the force of a quake which was felt across the Gulf, as far away as Dubai and Bahrain. Damage inflicted for miles around where it struck, entire villages destroyed, only the shells of properties remaining. Dozens are known to have been killed, and the relief effort here continues in challenging circumstances. This man says he's lucky. No one was trapped under his house, but all his possessions have been destroyed. A neighbor describes how everyone worked together to help the victims, and there are plenty of them. Hospitals have been struggling to deal with the hundreds injured by the 6.3 magnitude quake. Staff continuing to work as electricity and water supplies were interrupted. But even in the face of this still unfolding crisis, there is relief in Iran and beyond that the Bushir nuclear plant appears to be undamaged, with no radioactive fallout from the facility, which is running normally. The tremor was over six magnitude, but the atomic station is built to withstand tremors up to eight. The epicenter was 100 kilometers from the power station. It had no impact on the power station. The plant is working. The vast complex is the only nuclear power station in a country which sits on major fault lines and has suffered several devastating earthquakes in recent years, including one a decade ago, which killed tens of thousands in the city of Bam. The full impact of this quake will only emerge in the coming days, but it's already clear the thousands who survived it face an incredibly difficult future. Michelle Clifford, Sky News.